here inside the Mayweather Boxing Club with the 47th greatest IBO super featherweight champion of all time, Jeff Mayweather. How are you doing today, Jeff? I'm all right. You got uh, acid reflux? Not today. Oh, all right, I'm that's doing, good. I'm doing okay today. That's good. All right, Jeff. For a change. I, I came to you because you're the guy to ask because apparently this uh, you had a very close relationship back in your fighting days with a guy named Scooter. So no, no damn scooter. <laughs> well, now you deny it, but we know you know scooter. So tell me about this scooter character. I don't what know. was his relationship to you? I think and how many supplements did you take from him? I think, I think scooter was a, was a guy named that no, they know ain't nobody gonna go looking for nobody with a gay, name scooter. Well, scooter kind of st- sticks out, right? If you, someone said, "Hey, I'm scooter," you're like, oh, you're the guy. Yeah, but I mean, if you and then if you don't know Scooter, why are you taking anything from him? All right, well, let's go back here. Let's so people. Do. So yesterday, I think it was yesterday on Instagram or whatever it was. Bill Haney, Ryan Garcia got into a little bit. Uh, you know, Garcia says, you know, hey, if I took something, it was tainted. I didn't knowingly take anything. I'll swear in my mom with cancer's life, whatever. I didn't take anything. Uh, Bill Haney wasn't buying it. Are you buying it, Jeff Mayweather? Uh, I'm not buying it because of the fact that, I mean, if you don't know this person, why would you take anything from him? That makes me. So you're trying to sit there and tell me that if Scooter offers you some supplements, you're not just going to down them? What if they say it's going to end your acid reflux? Here's some supplements, Jeff. I'm Scooter. No, I'm still not going to take it. I don't, I don't know Scooter. If I don't know Scooter, why am I taking anything from him? <laughs> no, in all seriousness, yeah, Jeff. So, so he. Yeah, he said, you know, I took a, I met a guy a couple days before named Scooter. He gave me these supplements, and then all of a sudden I'm popping. Um, that's where I think the tainted supplements come from. That just seems to me absolutely ridiculous. You're in the, you know, the biggest fight of the year, and some, I, I don't know, I didn't see if, if it's if he's saying he actually knew him before or not. But either way, are you going to start taking supplements that you do not know a couple days before a fight of that magnitude? I mean, first of all, you don't know Scooter. Well, we don't know so, that he doesn't know Scooter. Maybe I don't know. He, if he just said he don't. He just said he didn't know Scooter. If you don't know Scooter, why would he take anything from him? Right. Anything. Hey. Uh, yeah, and and like I said, if someone just handed you supplements, I mean, are they in a package? Are they in a bottle? Are they sealed? Well, I mean, it's a it's a huge. Obvi- obviously, it's something that if, it, if it's got to be a pill, it's got to be uh, some kind of something. Like I said, if, if you don't know the person, mm-hmm. you don't supposed to take nothing from them. And I was telling you right before I went on on. Uh, camera that I've had it happen a couple times. I Celestino Caviar, I remember it was the same way. I remember Caleb Plant was the same way. I had a, some some stuff I was taking for myself, and the first thing they said, they, they were interested in taking it, but mm-hmm. that they wanted to make sure they knew every single thing right. about it before they possibly put it in there because they didn't want to take any chances on being popped for anything. Right. Right. Yeah, that so. makes sense. I mean, it, it makes no sense for you to come up with some name that, <clears throat> some name you just pick out of the sky, Scooter. <laughs> that's not even a person's real name and then you're going to take something from them that you don't even know maybe Scooter's a fall guy like uh, like Shohei Otani's interpreter on the gambling stuff maybe he's just the, the guy to get the blame yeah, ok maybe he is but <laughs> obviously he ain't the one that got the blame yeah. so the then one Bill the, the one that got the blame is Ryan Garcia and so Bill was the one you know saying hey you know you attacked us and all this, all this Victor Conte shit you know and then you know you're the one popping you know why were you the you know if you're taking tainted you know tainted uh, supplements you know and why you get on us for for what we're doing yeah what well, the thing is is that first of all you shouldn't even be trying to defend defend it if what you did wasn't wrong and secondly obviously whatever Devin's taken he, he he's not getting popped for it and he's not he's not they're not going after him they're going after Ryan so they were uh, obviously very pissed off that, that he failed his tests. Um, you obviously, you know, I said at the beginning, but obviously you never took any kind of supplements because based on your knockouts. So were you ever worried or did, how pissed off would you be if you found out someone's taking stuff against you? Um, I mean, I would be I would be upset because, I mean, you don't know what that supplement can do. I mean, obviously, it must, it must, it gives you something. It gives you some, I don't know if it gives you strength, it gives you something, it gives you energy, it gives, it gives you something. Because every time somebody gets popped, they're getting popped because 
of a reason that they're doing something more than more than what somebody thinks they're able to do. So it must help you in some kind of way.